Hello there, future people. My name is Frank Demetrius, and this is uh, the review of uh, Okay. Obviously, this is talking about Ruby. I mean, I do like the expedition. Actually, no, I don't. I do like the characters. Most of so them. But, I'm just gonna start the review, right? And I'm gonna do it, try to do good. I guess. Let's start. While a magical element known only as dust has allowed them to fight back for centuries, it is no longer enough. Ness has returned once more, spreading across the land, pushing humanity behind the walls of four remaining kingdoms, each with their own school designed to forge the best warriors ever known. No way, I could have been- You are ruining me! Ugh. Well, since they can't explain their characters, well, well, let's see what kind of characters they are. This brings us to Beacon's brightest new students. Excellent. Ruby. She's a cute one. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. She, she's a cute one. Right. She just badass. Like, like I'm not gonna lie. Like in the other volumes, she sort of is, but and the. Going against her parents, which they could actually, she could actually just leave, which she did. But that was still badass. Okay, and Blake, she was the worst out of all of them. Like, like they, they are literally out of high standard for like the best team, but. If I had to choose one to die, and honestly, I would. Not like they did in Farm 3, but I would basically say it would be Blake. Mostly because she's just a downer. She always keeps them down when they And what bothers me is spoiler. You know, I get it to spoiler before? I forget about it. It's just that. In the end of Volume 3, Blake, it just, she literally just cows out. She said that we're not ready and, you know, it kind of disappointed, but she literally just, like, left their whole entire team for it. I mean, like, with Gang and White, they had, like, no other choice in the matter. Because with Yang being... I don't want to remember that tragic moment. But, and also with why with their family, you basically see why they can't just do that. I mean, Blake just chose to go back home and not comfort them in the time of need. Especially, it should be especially Yang, exactly. I mean, jeez, just Yang, obviously, come on. But, but yeah, she kind of goes off. Easy, easily, basically. Gang, gang is the most. Uh, I'm not gonna say like all of them. Awesome, but Yang is sort of a character who's actually really hypens up, and yeah, and yeah, and then. they could have just like done more work on them it seemed like when i was watching like other reviews of it it seemed like they basically wish that ying had like a better story arc than the other ones like white was had like a majority of the story arc and so does blake too mostly because you know there was with the white thing so i was just wondering if if you know <laughs> that you're doing like more with it and do like more development instead of oh look a new arm 
I've been thinking about it, you know, thinking about whether I should wear it or not, but, yeah, new arm. Go me. Okay. And so, like, the story, good, it just, without, yeah, I'm just gonna say the elephant in the room again. The, without Monty, it's kind of changed. And, like, it still kind of stood that change, but it didn't live, like, a much of an impact in Volume 3. And in Volume 4, it's mostly just, like, setting everything up. You bis I mean, shoot, in this video of Ruby, World of Revelant, you basically see them just, like, hyping the heck out of it. And you kind of have, like, a letdown because of it. Like really let down mostly because you see like they're having like new characters even though they're basically missing one and with everything just like coming to them it seemed like they're about to set more stuff up for volume 5 I'm I will be pretty alright with that it's just that they've been doing that for each volume like seriously Volume 1 sets up Volume 2. Volume 2 hypes up Volume 3. Volume 3... Well, it did... Actually, yeah, by the ending. Just by the one episode they did, they basically hyped up... Volume 4. And... Honestly, I... Really wish they could just, you know... Finish it in Volume 5. If they have the volume 5, are they gonna have a volume 5? But, nonetheless, it is still kind of mixed feelings. Okay, so it is good, but not as good as the others, basically. I mean, yeah, on its own, it's pretty good, and not to say the other series, but, yeah, let's face it, not as good as the others. I just hope that volume 5 can overshadow the world of 11. It was good. So, hopefully they can do better in Volume 5, because now my expectation is, like, right over here. Like, if I were to just, like, stand up right now and then just done this, then yeah, that's that's how expected I am. Oh, man, you see me when I'm that tall, right? Yeah, forget about it. But nonetheless... I'm just gonna listen to this all night. Enemy months. <sighs> okay. Nor and Wren's art best out of this entire volume. Okay, I'm done.